we will start the inauguration function with an invocation song by kumar sri gayatri devi shri chamunde shwari kripa kare shankari devi shri chamunde kripa kari shankari devi shri chamunde shwari kripa kari shankari devi shri chamunde shwari महाबलेश्वर महिते देवी महिषासुर मदिनीयंब महाबलेश्वर महिते देवी राज Thank you very much, Shri Mati Gayatri. Next, uh, I will briefly introduce uh, today's guest, the chief guest of today's function, Shri Santosh Kumar, engineering professional of 20 plus years of experience. He enjoys creating teams and products that are invaluable for the business. He has worked with leaders across globe on business engineering, especially electronic system and products. Product conceptualization, creation and delivery. 
He has also worked in prestigious ISRO for five years in his initial career. I request Sanesh to felicitate Santosh Kumar with the memento. The memento is nothing but Armula Kannadi as a token of respect. This Armula Kannadi tells about metallurgy, how invaluable contribution has been there in the field of metallurgy by Indians. Once again, a hearty welcome to you, sir. A brief introduction about Shruti Kirti Kurana. Shruti Kirti Kurana is currently a program director at Infosys Foundation. Her 20 plus years of varied experience spans corporate, non-profit and government organizations through her work across India, Singapore and USA. In her parallel life, Shruti is an independent and accomplished editor who enjoys working with various authors, including Sudama, Sudamurthy, and late President APJ Abdul Kalam, in the genres of fiction, non fictions, and children books. She's a dog lover too and lives in Bangalore with a family and three goofy dogs. She weighs in on policy decisions facing VOSD. I request to Sanesh to felicitate Shruti Kirti Kurana with a memento. I request today's Chief Guest Sri Santosh Kumar to address the gathering. Sri Guru Pyonamaha. I don't know from where they actually got the description. I just gave my name. I'm so sorry to bore you with that. I know that you're not really here to listen to any of those talks. Uh, I, I first give uh, big namaskarams to all of you. I also want to give uh, big namaskarams to all the people who performed. Looking forward for the next uh, set of functions. Uh, I think in the month of uh, August, really having the Veera Bhava is very much required for the country what we are actually going through these days. So it's very, very appropriate for us to have that emotion uh, come in in all of us. Uh, the name of the organization really uh, connects and touches with all of us. Uh, the universal monk uh, really quoted it from Upanishad and it became really the words that uh, whole Ramakrishna mission uh, followed through. So uh, big pranams to him, big pranams to Thakurji uh, in this occasion. Uh, Definitely uh, the work that they do, how they connect with uh, communities is really something that uh, moves all of us, moves definitely uh, me particularly in this. Uh, and I'm very thankful for all the volunteers, uh, all the staff who has actually worked uh, during several years, especially during the COVID time. I personally know how much they have touched mood uh, and inspired me with the work that they have done for the communities around, uh, especially in Karnataka as well as in Kerala. Uh, I will, uh, any occasions like this, it's good to tell a story. I'll say a very uh, small story uh, because this occasion is also about tradition and culture. So let me try to connect in my own way with a very small story. This is also a story told by uh, uh, Thakurji. So uh, this is a story of a uh, pandita and a milkmaid, right? So uh, they used to live in different parts of a river, right, on both sides of it. And milkmaid had to serve uh, Pandita, he was actually buying milk from her. So every day morning she has to cross the river and go. Uh, and she has to get the help from boatman and others. And several times, by the time she reaches there, uh, he's al she, she's already late, right? She's late, he wanted the milk at an earlier time. So he used to always complain, why are you delayed? All One of the days she was really late and he was very angry. He says, look, the world over, right? by telling the uh, name of God, by reciting the name of God, uh, you can actually cross uh, the uh, sagara, all the difficult sagara of this world, people can actually cross it. Why is such a small river out here? You are not really able to cross, right? She heard it for a moment. She said yes, and she went back. And he noticed after that, for a couple of weeks, she was always on time. Earlier, she used to be very delayed. She was always on time. And he was surprised. How come sh she's on time now? He went and asked her, why are you on time now compared to what you used to do? And she said, you told me, you told me that 
to uh, say the name of God and just cross the river. And I could just do that. I could just do that and cross the river. And he couldn't believe. He just saw her cross back like that. And he tried to do the same thing by holding his dress, saying say, the same uh, name of the God, but he just couldn't cross it. That's really the power of tradition and culture that we really have. Right? It has the key to connect to all kinds of successes that we can have in the life. We must have a very strong belief in it. We must actually do the action, right? And really a childlike simplicity to really follow what our culture and tradition does, right? On an occasion like this, I really wish and uh, pray for all of you to really get through your successes, whatever that you really wanted in life. Uh, to be the water walker, if that's what you really want, like in this simple story that Thakurji told, or anything else that you really want. My prayers to all the people who are, again, uh, volunteers for this organization and making a difference to lives of the people who absolutely deserve it. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Sri Santosh Kumarji. Now I request guest of honor, Shruti Kirti Kurana to address us. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, recently you must have noticed that the days have been long. The weather has been rainy and wet, and the traffic has been absolutely insane. So it's really so nice and so meaningful to see so many of you here despite the weather and despite the other things you have going on in your life. And I think that is really a true testament to the love that everyone has for Utishta and how it manifests itself in our hearts. This life is short. The vanities of this world are transient, but they alone live who live for others the rest are more dead than alive. These are the words of Swami Vivekananda that have also inspired Uthishta, and they make more sense today than they have ever done before. In this world of quick chaos and madness, finding your passion and finding the time to focus on your passion, especially when it comes to giving back, is of incredible value. Now this is what we value at our work at Infosys Foundation. And Utishta does that too. And that's exactly why Utishta is here today. I remember when I first heard of Utishta. First it was from my late father and then Mr. Damodar Pai who is sitting here right with us um, in the audience in the front bench. A dear uncle, an advisor, a friend. I think in a lot of ways he's playing the same role in Utishta as well. So slowly and steadily, as we've spoken about it, I have appreciated and followed the work of uh, Utishta over the years, and I've come to appreciate what they have been doing and what they've accomplished in so many years. The sponsorship of children, the cultural events, the provision of shelter or uh, healthcare for the underprivileged, and even contributing to the environment. So all these things together have led me to come here today. Today's event, the beautiful Yakshagana that we saw, um, and then we have another event, the Kathakali. Now both these events and both these performers, so there's one that's the pride of Karnataka, and there's one that's the pride of Kerala. And see how they unite us, sitting here in Indranagar Sangeet Sabha in Bangalore, people from different parts of the country. That is how culture brings us together. That is how we stay together. That is how we feel patriotic together. And that is how we will continue preserving the beauty of our culture in India. So thank you, Utishta. A really huge applause and really a huge thank you from my heart for continuing to be on this journey and contributing to this cause. Thank you.